Hey guys, today we're gonna make an outdoor shower enclosure. Here's a couple pictures of the end product, one with a door, one without a door. Today we're gonna make one with a door. So let's get started. The wood that you use for the sides and the platform of the structure can be reclaimed pallet wood if you can find some good clean pallets. But today I went to Home Depot and bought some five and a half by six foot fence pickets, a mix of cedar and pine. The pine has a cool little red stain. Right here we have some two by three by eights. You're gonna need four of them, one for each corner of the structure. Okay, step one, the platform. Cut three two by threes or two by fours at 35 inches. I used two by fours because I had some lying around. Then you're gonna cut nine common boards at 35 inches and you're gonna lay them across evenly distributing the width between each board so it looks uniform. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the middle two by four is perfectly centered. Right here it's not, but I end up correcting it. You're gonna start with one common board all the way at the end, making sure it's flush with the end of the two by fours and drill your way down, pre-drilling the common board so it doesn't crack. Okay, step two, the back wall. You're gonna take two of your two by threes that are cut at 75 inches, and you're gonna measure and mark where you want the bottom board to go. I normally hover around 12 to 15 inches. Now, if you're using the same lumber as I am, the fence picket, you're gonna need 10 cut at 38 inches. Now, before I start drilling, I always make it square with one board at the end of the two by threes, just to make sure everything's straight. And then make sure you drill your holes before and then work your way down. I actually didn't have my top 10th board cut at 38 inches, so I ended up installing that later. Bring your platform over, and ideally you want your back wall to be resting against something so you don't have to hold it up the whole time. The legs should be on the outside of the platform, fitting snugly around so a screw will go in perfectly. I use my speed square to make sure it's at a 90 degree angle. Pre-drill your holes and then screw them in. Put three screws in a diamond shape for extra stability. Do it to the other side. Now take your other two by three, drill it to the opposite edge of the platform. Use your speed square to make sure it's straight. Now you need to measure and mark where you're gonna put your bottom board. Use your speed square to get a straight line. Pre-drill your holes making sure that the fence board is flush with the edge of the 2x3 so it stays at a perfect 35 inches all the way up. Stop the door. Okay, the door. You're going to take your thin piece of plywood, cut it 50 inches high by 37 inches wide. It's the centerpiece of the door. And on each side of the door, you're gonna have mix match cut pieces of pine and cedar, however you see fit. My client wanted something funky, so I did that. You're gonna want each cut exactly duplicated, so you have it on the back side of the door as well. Now you're gonna glue the bottom piece, glue the top, drill it in with inch and a quarter screws. Then after that, I made a little X make it look like a barn door. Super simple, you just take fern strips, match the angle, use your speed square, slice it, cut it, dice it, trim it, pop it, screw it, looking like a barn door. Okay, I put two coats of water sealer on every square inch of the wood, installed the door with three little black hinges and a black door latch. I actually installed a little bench at my client's request the end product.